I'm here on the court of William R. Johnson Coliseum, home of the Lady Lumberjacks. The Lumberjacks look to open up their season with a win on November 9th against the University of Louisiana Monroe Warhawks. For more, let's take a look in. The SFA Lady Jacks are predicted to finish second in the Southland Conference by the coaches poll behind last year's champions, McNeese State Cowgirls. This year, the Southland Conference is welcoming Earl Roberts as Texas State, UTSA, and UTA leave the conference. Coach Brandon Schneider hopes to make it to the NCAA tournament this year by winning the Southland Conference Championship held March 12th through the 16th in Katy, Texas. The team has a pretty easy non-conference schedule but are hoping to make a statement by defeating the 23rd ranked Oklahoma State Cowgirls on December 6th. The Lady Jacks finished 23 and 10 last year and are returning 10 players. Stephen F. Austin lost last year's leading scorer and second team All Southland Conference player Tamara Marion, who averaged over 14 points a game. Since her departure, SFA fans are looking to sophomore Portia Roberts to fill the void. She was picked as a preseason second team All Southland Conference player and last year averaged 9.2 points a game and led the team with 5.9 rebounds and 1.8 shots blocked a game. For more information on the SFA Lady Jacks, you can follow them online at sfajacks.com. Hope to see you right here in William R. Johnson Coliseum November 9th at 6 o'clock as the Lady Lumberjacks look to go for their first one of the season. Reporting for NAC Edition, this is Richard Hayfley. Signing out.